Happy holidays, Mounties. Welcome back to Modern Nation Station. I'm Matthew. And I'm Carson. And first up, we have Dante with some weekly announcements. Welcome back to your NW News at 11. This morning, we start off with a dot to family. The giving tree will be coming down December 15th. Don't forget to get an ornament to help Miss Aid. On the 22nd, there will be a movie night. You can wear your PJs and get free hot cocoa and popcorn and cookies. We also encourage you to wear school appropriate pajamas. More info will be announced. We have our big rival game of the season. We play Western. JV girls play at four and varsity girls play at five. Come support your girls basketball. Hope everyone has a great Friday. And you guys want to see the bloopers to my show? Well, you guys can scan the QR code. On the when Santa's out sick, who do you think is going to save the holiday? We'll see what the Mountie does in Mountie on the Move. Hey Matt, are you much of a baker? My dad is. Oh well, Grayson is, in Buy Teens for Teens. And she's making peppermint bark. Hello and welcome to Buy Teen for Teens, where I teach you how to make basic cooking recipes. Today we are making peppermint bark. Your ingredients will be milk or dark chocolate, white chocolate, and peppermint. Let's get started. All right, so your first step is going to be taking your dark or milk chocolate and pouring that into a bowl. And then you are going to microwave that in 30 second increments until it is all melted. All right, so after about a minute and a half, and then just pour that onto a lined baking sheet and smooth it out. All right, after that is all smoothed out, you are just going to take that and set it aside for right now. All right, and then you are going to take your peppermint, unwrap them, and put them into a plastic bag. All right, and then once all of your peppermints are in the bag, take a hammer. All right, and then after you are done with the peppermint, take your white chocolate and put it in a bowl. And then do that again, do that in 30 second increments. It should take about a minute and a half like the, like the milk chocolate. So that is all melted. Bring your milk chocolate back in. And carefully dump the white chocolate on top of it and start spreading it out. All right, and once you are done with that, take your crushed peppermint and dump it on, on top of your chocolate. All right, and then once all your peppermint is on top of it, enjoy and happy holidays. From peppermint bark to Christmas cookies, let's see how the ladies take on this holiday favorite. All right, ready? Three, two, one. We are going 
to bake and hopefully decorate Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this in there. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Oh, oh it's, it's pooping. What? Ready? Hopefully no shelter. Go ahead. Oh, this is. Chunky <laughs> bunky. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. Follow us to the other setting. <laughs> wow, we made it. Wow, we're here. Nope. Make sure they're like sort of evenly spaced. They look good. Does that look evenly spaced, guys? Here we go. Okay. We're doing great. I say these cookies are gonna be great. This, this is my cookie. Wait, this is my cookie. Uh, Abe! <laughs> you ate. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy. Ready? We're leaving. Bye. Perfect. Perfect. Um, since so Abe ate her cookie, <laughs> her bit it, we're gonna break it up. My fingers are disgusting. <laughs> Pretty mid. I can't it is a cookie. The reason we'll need in this one, because these ones, enough said. That's, <laughs> that's all I needed. What would you rate the cookie out of 10? Um, it was pretty dry. Mm. I would give it a 2 out of 10. I'd give it a 2.1. <laughs> Why'd you have to do that to me? Ah! That's the end of our video. And I hope you didn't enjoy, because why would you? Yeah, for Look at my legs! Here's the man behind the success of our band. Here's Mr. M on Mic'd Up. I want to I want to thank all of the groups that all the teachers got little stockings full of stuff, and this is uh, a bunch of stickers. So I'm going to give Caleb the Think Positive sticker, the Fighting for Happiness sticker. I feel like that needs to go to me. Sparkle every day. Okay. Bum bum bum. One two. Ready go. I see you, Jay, one second. Um, and thank you for raising your hand. I have complete gratitude. Forte for the first four measures, but then let's drop it down to pianissimo. I'm not gonna say, cause I'm mic'd up. <laughs> uh, low brass, I do sense. Maybe it'll be better now that Sarah's here. Forte, and two, ready, blow. Now, big, altos go. Ba -da -ba -ba. Like this, euphonium, which don't slow down, okay? And I was like, I was like, okay, so I'm gonna try not to break the skin of my middle finger by snapping too hard. Here, one, very nice, oboes. Where's my band pencil? Which one of you dirty kids? Okay, I apologize. That was aggressive. I apologize. Kelsey, love your pants. Here we go. Leah, you got all the good stuff. Uh, I don't know, like, be honest with me, clarinets, because I don't really care. One and two, do not listen. Ti ti ta da. I probably won't show you something that's not there. Does that make sense? Because I make fun of conductors that are like, like, what are you conducting? There's literally no one playing on two and four. What are you doing? Okay. Make awkward eye contact. From the success of our band to the success of our sports, here is Northwest Sports Network with basketball highlights. Did you know I animated the Mountie? Well, guess what? I uncovered the origins of the Mountie. <laughs> well, let's find out more on Uncovering Northwest.
Welcome back to Uncovering Northwest. This week, we'll be uncovering the origins of the Mountie. For many years, I've been going to the school. I've always wondered, why are we called the Mounties? So I decided to find that out. For over 60 years, Northwest Community Schools has adopted the nickname of the Mounties. After the founding of Northwest High School in 1956, they were faced with the challenge of selecting the school's nickname and its choice of school colors. The district's actual name of Northwest conjured images of Canada's Northwest Territory and its brave defenders, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, also known as the Mounties. The Mounties' romantic image and its wide reputation for fairness, devotion, duty, and exemplary service of bringing law and order to the Northwest Territories intrigued the district. Their distinctive scarlet tunics and Stetson hats were deemed cool within the eyes of the district. While the district resisted pressure to adopt the trendy combination of the pink and gray, they declared the mighty combination of red and black as the official color for their team, the Northwest Mounties. The Mountie and its iconic red and black soon became a focal point for Northwest Community Schools for over 60 years and coming. Now that we've discovered the origins of the Mountie, make sure you join me next week as I continue to uncover some of the secrets of the Northwest District. And to round out this weekly show, we got Owen, our favorite man who runs around the halls. Let's see what danger he's spelling out this week. Goodbye, Northwest. If your right hand is holding a yellow pencil and the sky is green, what are you? I don't know, but welcome back to a new episode of Owen the Halls. We have Isaiah behind the camera. Let's go. I got a question for you. What is 33 plus 77? 33 plus 77? All right. Who is the 32nd president? George Washington. Yes. What's your favorite brand of bread? Uh, was that one orange bag? Orange bag? Cheetos? Sure. Wrong, it's baguette. Who is the 12th and a half president? There's a half? Of course there is. I don't know. I don't know. What? Tell me. I don't know. Thoughts on Ryan Reynolds? Uh, uh, so hot. Amen. Trenton. What's your favorite Lego brick? Uh, I would say uh, two by four. Thoughts on Ryan Reynolds? Oh, he's really pretty. <laughs> Thoughts on Ryan Reynolds? Who's that? Is this the end of the video? This is Unfortunately, yes. Goodbye. Well, Matt, that's the end of our show. Be sure to check out our socials up above Carson's head. And everyone, have a happy and safe holiday. Thank you guys so much for watching our show this year. We really appreciate all the support. We'll see you guys next year. Happy Holidays!